Okay, my dear students, welcome to your English class. Today we are going to have a very simple dynamic. It's according to your questions. So remember the same question that you asked to your teacher. I'm going to ask you the same questions to you. So in this case, there are two questions. Let's see. Yes, two questions per students or three questions? Two or three? Two. Two, right? Two or three. Yes. Yeah, two. Yes, only two. Okay, thank you so much. Hi, good evening, Robert. Welcome. So before to start, can you please, Jamie, turn on your audio antes de iniciar? Please turn on your okay. audio. Okay, so tell me, Jamie, how was your day? What did you do? Please, just to practice a little bit. Okay. Um, I, I get up at seven and I made the breakfast and then I went to the store to buy some ingredients to make pupusas and then I help my prima, so you say, oh. Cousin? Oh, I help my co cousin to connect the um to connect the connect her class mm -hmm. and then I make the pupusas and then I get off the decoration Christmas decoration <laughs> nice <laughs> and now I'm in the class okay perfect Nice day, excellent. Thank you so much. Are you ready for your questions? Yes. Okay, so let's see. Please be ready because you are going to be the first one. Okay, okay. hi, Fabi. How are you doing? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Sorry, Good evening. can you all hear me okay? Yes, perfect. Okay. Yes, perfect. Good evening, Jennifer. Welcome. Okay, so tell me, Fabi, I got a personal question for you. Okay. If you have, if you have the opportunity to go somewhere just for vacation, which place would you like to choose and why? Uh, from only for vacations? Yeah. Okay. For vacation. If I have a lot of days, maybe five or 15, journey, 15 days, I like to we go to go the, the Europe, to France, mm -hmm. French. Spain, mm -hmm. Spain, French, French. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if I have a little of days, for example, three or five days, I like to well, to go Miami or country, maybe Mexico or go to the beach for a little, a little days. Well, in my case, I maybe if you ask to me, I would like to go to not a very not a specific beach, but yes, I will choose the beach. And um, but in my case, I would like to go just just with my dog and to stay alone thinking relaxing yes could be a perfect vacation what about you with some friends with your family yes it depends i like to stay with my family and sometimes with my friends because this moment or that is moment is very important for my family and mm -hmm. sometimes my friends but in um, vacations or obviously in my weekend uh, for time to relaxing, I like to stay uh, with me, only with me yeah, for, for me because it's mm -hmm. my time for um, my skincare or my hair. Mm -hmm. By my vacations, is, I like to stay with my family. Mental care, is, it is important. It's yeah. really important today. Yeah. Okay, thank you so much, Fabi. Good evening, Robert. How are you? 
Hi, teacher. Me escucha. Perfect. So, okay. how was your day? Well, how was your work day? In my work is very boring. Really boring? Why? Yes, you didn't uh, do nothing special? Mm. Ay, en ello, ¿cómo responderle, teacher? Perdí but, la práctica de todo. <laughs> okay, but boring. You said boring. Boring, yes. Okay, so, hey, do you like your job? Um, sometimes. Sometimes, yes, yeah, sometimes not. Okay, is yes. it stressful? Yes, very stressful. Okay, so where, a donde, where would you like to work? Eh, a donde me gustaría trabajar. Yes. For example, I'm going to give you some examples. Teacher, I would like to work at the airport because I would like to be a pilot. Remember, you can invent. It's not necessary to say the truth. Teacher, I would like to work in a hotel because I like to help people. I like to meet new people. Teacher, I would like to work in a restaurant because I have a lot of patience and I love food, for example. I would like to work in an Italian restaurant because I love the Italian food. Or teacher, I would like to work in a call center because I'm a study for to work there. So where would you like to work? Okay. I would like to work vendedor de zapatos, teacher, como say. Selling shoes? In a shoe store? Yes, shoe store. Nice. Because I love the sneakers. Okay. Okay, excellent. So, thank you so much. Are you ready for your questions? Or oh, in this case, with your questions? Are you ready? Mm, yes. Okay, okay, stay there because you are the last one. Okay, my dearest students, I'm going to start with the dynamics. So, Jamie, are you ready? Yes. Okay, perfect. So, what is your question one? Uh, what is your favorite food? Ooh, I got I got many options. For example, I love Salvadorian food. To be more specific, I love pupusas, especially cheese with loroco. Talking about international food. I love Mexican, and this is true. In El Salvador, there is a very famous restaurant. It's called The Brothers. It's located in Escalón, but there is one in, there is a new restaurant in La Gran Vía. Well, I love Mexican food. I love burritos, I love tacos, but I prefer meat tacos. I don't like chicken. And the third option maybe will be Chinese, no, no, yes, Chinese, but I love Japanese food. I love sushi. I love ramen. I consider our gastronomy here in El Salvador is really good because we can offer different options. We got different, uh, different kind of gastronomy and drinks too. We got cebada, horchata, different kind of atoles for example yes but if you ask to me the first one is salvadorian food se fijaron como contesté obviamente todo lo hice inventado lo que yo quiero en este caso que cuando yo les regrese la pregunta no me diga usted yes no thank you teacher quiero que me dé una opinión extra y, y siempre se los recalco invente invente practique in this case. So, about you, Jamie, what's your favorite food? Uh, I like Chinese food, but also I like 
I don't know if it's Indian food, but mm -hmm. it's lamb with rice. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the postres, como se dice? Dessert. Dessert, yes. I like dessert, but the most I like is the frappe, mocha frappe. Mm -hmm. And talking about coffees, do you prefer iced coffee or hot? Iced coffee. Mm -hmm. uh, if I don't care if it's the the claim is cold. The weather. I prefer, mm -hmm. The weather. Really. I prefer um, frappe. <laughs> do you have any favorite coffee shop? Yes, it's a gas station. Mm -hmm. That is called Wawa. How much is the coffee? Um, I think it's three three dollars and something. Okay. I, I don't remember. Okay. How often do you drink coffee? Every day? In my case, two times. One in the morning and one cup in the afternoon. Um, I think one or two, twi on twice one a day, or, one or twice a month. A month? Ah, okay. Yeah, wow. Because the frappe have a lot of calories. Yeah, and sugar. So, uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's I it. Think that, um, yes. Okay. Perdón que te interrumpí. Pensé que habías terminado. That's all. Uh, yes. Okay. Te, nos esperamos para la pregunta número dos. Okay. Fabi, turn on your audio. Se prepara Jennifer. Fabi, what's your question? Okay. Uh, my first question is If you could be born in another country, mm -hmm. which one would you like to have been born and why? Uy, I got two options. In 2006, and this is true, I'm not inventing. In 2006, I got the opportunity to visit five countries because I was working with the American Embassy as a babysitter. I went to Montevideo, Uruguay. My goodness, it's a very beautiful city. One of the details that I like about that city is the tradition. For example, when you visit an Italian restaurant and if you order a pizza, they serve the pizza with salad, mm -hmm. with a bowl, a very big bowl salad. And I like it, I enjoy it. In El Salvador, pizza with palitroques, right? <laughs> yeah. it, yes, in Uruguay, it's totally different. A pizza with a salad. Awesome. Another thing that I like about Uruguay is the weather is really, really good. And also I like the security. You can go outside at any time and it's a very, very safe city. This is my first option. The second, obviously, Japan. And to be more specific, I would like to, in this case, I would like to have the opportunity to born there. For example, in Yokohama, it's a very nice city. It's an old city, but it looks like a Karate Kid one with many, many culture, a very, no fancy houses because they are very antique, but Yokohama is a really nice city and Tokyo too. But Tokyo is, is, is a kind of noisy because there are many, many, many million people. And it's a, it's a very noisy city, but it is really good. I like the culture there because if you go to a Tokyo park, any Tokyo park, you will see children not playing. You will see children reading. So I like the methodology. I like the education there. So my first option, I would, like, I would like to have the opportunity to work in Uruguay or in this case, Tokyo. What about mm -hmm. you, Fabi? 
really very interesting your opinion but mm -hmm. my case in my case <laughs> yeah but my case i had a lot of country too but um, since i was a little i like a uh, spend because um but if you if you had if you want to choose a country in a special country really i like to spain because i have mm -hmm. and i love europe europe um, mm -hmm. is a country that has a lot of opportunities mm -hmm. in the world about jobs about education yeah scholarship yeah government mm -hmm. and different opportunities of course the coin it has great value in the world is very important for the coin and obviously the culture the culture really like and so uh, you it's idiom is spanish and i like spanish because <laughs> it's my idiom at all and i like the food too mm -hmm. uh, i love the pasta and different uh, culture and dancing about i don't remember the dancing in, in spain but i think there's tango i don't remember in english, in english. tango tango is from argentina i i think yes i, I think, think so spain too mm -hmm. oh, yeah, really? oh, okay good Okay, mm -hmm. one of the things that I like from Europe is the fashion style. I like yeah. how people dress up. Yes, I really mm -hmm. like it. Okay, that's all, Fabi? Yes. That's all. Perfect. Be ready for the second round. Hello, okay. Jennifer. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Excellent. Welcome to your class. Please, Karencita, nos preparamos. Okay, Jennifer, what's your question? The first okay. one. Uh, do you have goals for this new year? <laughs> okay, uh, that's yes. That that's the question. Yes, and, okay. and what are your goals? <laughs> okay, let's see my goals. I got one. I got many, but the first one is, um, I'm going to try to learn a new language. I speak Spanish, I speak English, so I would like to learn a third language. I'm thinking about Portuguese because, as you know, I'm going to start a new course. So I would like to learn Portuguese. Supposedly, my Portuguese teacher said it's easy to speak. Supposedly, he said it's easier than speak French and yes this is my first goal the second goal but this is more personal personality uh excuse me this is more personal um i'm thinking to continue with a master degree but this is my second but the first one is to learn a new mm. language and in this case portuguese what about you you have nice. Um, Thank you. Yes. Um, graduate from my la my university. Mm -hmm. uh, this is my last year. Nice. And Congrats. Thank you. <laughs> and finally, and get my um certificate English certification. Uh huh. Because it's a requirement for graduation. How many points do you need? Um, I don't remember, but... I, what, kind, what kind of evaluation is going to be? Can be... Uh, of tests or the toy? Yes, the, the both. And Duolingo have a ah, certification okay. and uh -huh. that's, that's can, can, be, can be one. Have you been practicing? But not in the class. I, I think <laughs> have you pre have you been practicing in your free time? Um only watching movies and series, but, but not it is, but it is good. Uh, yes. And here in the class mm -hmm. <laughs> only I'm not sure, but Duolingo, I'm not sure, but it doesn't measure your speaking. 
it's more about grammar, vocabulary, and listening, right? Mm, yes, I, I think. Yes, in the, in the case of the TOEFL test, it doesn't measure your speaking, just grammar, reading, listening. Yes, grammar, reading, and listening. I don't have any idea about the toy because in my case, I took the TOEFL test. And oh. yes, for me, in my case, it was to, it, well, at, it demands to get 520 points or more. Yes, to get my escalafon. Mm -hmm. But I don't know about you, how many points do you need? It's necessary to know. Mm -hmm. Yes, but in the in the final uh, grade can, can be eight or 8.5, I, I think. Mm -hmm. Do you know my little brother, Javier, Xavi? Ah, uh, yes, yes. Well, he's my brother, he's my little brother, but I consider you are going to pass the test because you're better at English than my little brother. Really? So yes. I don't really. <laughs> he doesn't. He doesn't like English. You do. Really? Yeah. He doesn't like English. So I uh, remember he said, "Hey, Gabriela, I need to pass the 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 test to get my okay. my degree." So okay, if you want, you can practice with me. No, I don't like to practice with you. But can you just help me with the grammar part? So he had some problems about grammar, and supposedly he already passed the test. But if you ask to me, you're better. You're better than him. Because you speak uh, English hey. and he doesn't speak. <laughs> yes, he <laughs> speaks, but a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> you speak <Okay>. more. <laughs> I, I need to practice more. Yes, maybe you need to practice grammar because you got vocabulary. Maybe just grammar. Yes. Yes, of course. Yes. Okay, nice. Hey, I got a question, another question for you. Ah, okay. How do you practice? To improve. ¿Cómo estás practicando para mejorar? How do you practice to improve? Okay, I know you said teacher, I watch movies, but just that. Mm. Uh, oh, I have my in my phone in English. Okay. And, good. and the some words that I don't understand, I try to translate and then i i i know what what it's about uh, some advice advertise or alerts mm -hmm. or, or, or alerts that the funds mm -hmm. uh, shows me mm -hmm. and do you like my... to use do you like to use translators mm, not much okay but um I think that is a good practice to have your phone in, in English. Yes, of course. Because you you learn more vocabulary mm -hmm. and and you uh, uh, you can can see every every day your a new words or mm -hmm. the same words and you uh, learn mm -hmm. what it's about. Yes, of course. There is a perfect translator i sent to all of you by sun chat lingui it's free it's much better than google translator because i know all my students like to use google translator but i always recommend lingui i say los mande lingui okay thank you so much jennifer be ready for the second round thank you okay hello karencita ready hello teacher yes <laughs> excellent welcome Okay, uh, do you wait, have... wait, wait, wait. Please, okay. Rene, nos preparamos. Okay, please, Karencita. Sorry for okay. interrupting you. Go ahead. <laughs> Don't worry. Do you have a favorite book? What it and why? <laughs> hey, <laughs> um, I'm a teacher, but I don't like to read. <laughs> really? <laughs> yes. Well, I, I don't have any specific book. But if I have to read, if I have the necessity to read, 
I just read about methodology at teaching. In general, I don't have the culture to read, but I know okay. it's necessary. In my case, I'm a person like to practice instead, and best day, instead of read. For example, uh, imagine something. Uh, when I buy a new, for example, a new computer. Uh, no, not computer. When I buy a new TV, for example, a smart TV, yes. I don't like to read the instructions. I prefer to use my intelligence <laughs> and connect it. <laughs> yes, and connect it. Okay. And I don't like to read in general, <clears throat> but I love the audios book, but the physic, okay. I don't like it. I love the audios book. I got many audios book on my computer, but if you ask to me about physic books, I don't know, but I don't like it. Yes. Okay. What about you, Patty? I know okay. you like to read, right? Yes, yes, I okay. like to read, but I don't do because I I don't have a lot of free time. Mm -hmm. But when I have time, I like to read. Uh, what kind about, of books? Uh -huh. Yes, about leadership. Uh, ah. My favorite book is uh, The Robin Sharma, Las Ocho Claves del Liderazgo del Monje que vendió su Ferrari. Wow. Because teach about personal leadership. Mm -hmm. and how to live with honesty and courage mm -hmm. to people and to value uh, and to value people and try uh, them with a uh, courtesy and kindness because it's necessary for every uh, di for different time of the life in mm -hmm. family in work in church with friends uh, i think it's uh, necessary to treat to, to treat the people with a uh, valor, no, no recuerdo. Valus, no recuerdo. Valus uh -huh. valor, uh, ok, hay dos formas, Val, valor es strange, de, de valorar a la persona, pero en este caso, cuando hablamos de valores, de valor, ah, que, uh -huh. o sea, tenés el don del, uh -huh. el, ¿cómo se dice el tal? El, el, ay, cuando deciste de valores, valus. Ok, <risa> yes, ok, ok, yes. Oh, no, teacher. So, do you prefer, Karencita, do you prefer to buy books or do you prefer to download from internet? I prefer to buy buy books because I like to read with, in physics. Ah, okay. That's going to be my, my second me. question. Ah, okay. Physics. Yes. How many books have you been reading in all your life? Mm, maybe... Teacher, ¿cómo digo por ¿Pere? lo menos? ¿Cómo digo por lo menos, teacher? Se uh -huh. los mando ahí. Ahí está. At least. Si yo quiero decir, teacher, por lo menos, un ejemplo, por lo menos 15 libros, teacher. At least uh -huh. 15 books. Ok, one more okay. time. How many at books have you been reading in all your life? At least... Uh... 25 books oh my god many books yes <laughs> okay excellent that's all karen yes teacher perfect okay be ready for the okay. second round okay hello Rene. good evening good evening teacher welcome to your class how are you fine i'm fine Excellent. So let's see, Robert, nos preparamos. Okay, Rene, what's your question to your teacher? Um, my first question for you is, uh, how many pets have you had? Well, in all your life? In all my life, actually, I got one. So in all my life, I only got one. And thanks God is still alive. <laughs> he is for yeah, well on April he's turning five years old. It's a boy, its name is Teodoro, but many people call him Theo. And I consider it a part of my family. I'm not a crazy in this case, I'm not a crazy about dogs, but I take care of my dog. 
as a family. So I consider to have a pet, Rene, is good for people. For example, in my case, I remember um, before to get my dog, I get sick two or three times in a month. But since I got my dog, I haven't been seen again. Yes, a little flu, a little headache, but that's it. No more than this one. So I consider it's really good to have a pet, but if you are going to have a pet, you have to be very responsible. Yes. So what about you, Rene? Do you have pets? Yes, I uh, current, I have um, one dog. But in my life, I had uh, only three pets. Mm -hmm. uh, one dog is he bred was French French poodle. Mm -hmm. Yes, French poodle. Um, French poodle. A French poodle. No, 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 no. French. Oh, creo que sí era eso. Uno uh -huh. colochito blanco. Ah, oh, uh, oh, French. Okay, yes. Yeah, French. And his name was. Uh, champagne, but that died nine years old ago. Oh. Uh, my other pet is a uh, white rabbit. Uh, his name was uh, Bonnie. Mm -hmm. He was a boy that died in last year. Oh, I'm so sorry. Are you a yes. very responsible owner? What? Are you a responsible owner? Yes. Why? Why do you consider you are? Um... Ahí se los mando la palabra. Opner, dueño. Are you a responsible owner? Um, yes, yes, my pets, uh, the diet, um, because, uh, enfermaron, como se dice? Get, bueno, el pasado, got sick. My pet got sick and no puedo hacer nada, o sea, no sé cómo se dice. I didn't, I can't, or I couldn't, didn't, I didn't can't. nothing. Yes, but yes. my question was, ¿eres un buen dueño? O sea, ¿eres, ¿eres un dueño responsable? Are you a responsible owner? Mm, I consider yes. Why? Because I pay attention to my dog mm -hmm. for all. Is, uh, you... you eh, son sucesos. <laughs> Excuse me? Yo recojo sus necesidades, este siempre recojo sus necesidades, no sé cómo se diría, la verdad. I keep, I pick up, como pick up, recoger. I pick up her or his poo. <laughs> I pick up, yo recojo. I pick, I always I pick, up, pick up. I always pick up uh, his or her poo. Necessities. Oh, his necessities, okay. His necessities. Hey, ahí les mandé eh. un phrase, Albert, mira. Take after. ¿Qué crees que significa take after? Ese es un phrase, Albert, que se ve en el nivel 5, pero se lo voy a enseñar ahorita. Anote. Ese es un phrase, Albert. ¿Qué es take after? Uh, tomar es... para después. Exacto. No. Pero como es un phrase, Albert, significa cuidar. Por ejemplo, si vos querés decir, hay, los alumnos siempre dicen take care, pero un inglés avanzado es take after. Entonces, puedes, ah, fíjese que yo siempre eh, cuido de mis mascotas. Por ejemplo, si quieres utilizarlo así, I always take after my pets. Ya es un inglés avanzado. Ok, René, that's all? Yes, that's all. Excellent, thank you. Be ready for the second round. Hello, Robert, are you ready? Hi, teacher, yes. I'm Excellent, ready. perfect. Ok, Jamie, vamos con la segunda ronda después de Robert. Ok, Robert, what's your question? Ok, eh, puede ser cual, cualquier pregunta. Yes, 
any question. Okay. Okay, teacher. Del nivel que tú quieras con lo que te sientas más comfortable. Ok. Eh, teacher like sneakers. Or what shoes do you like? Ooh, good question. I'm not a big fan. No soy una gran fan de los zapatos, fíjate. I'm not a big fan of shoes. Y eso que soy mujer. In my case, I got 12 pairs of shoes. O 10, creo que 10 pares. I got 10 pairs of shoes. Mm, I like to wear tennis. I like to wear sandals. I don't like high heels. I don't like flats. I don't like boots. My favorite kind of shoes are or sandals or sneakers or tennis. But it depends of the occasion. So I'm not a big fan of shoes. And I don't have any favorite shoe store, for example. Yes, I don't have any favorite shoe store. So what about you? What's your favorite kind of shoes? Okay, in my case, I love the sneakers. Mm -hmm. I have ma many pairs. Mm -hmm. Good. And I have also... How many? Yes, I have. I How have many, many pairs? Yes, and I How? have also sold. Yes, many but pairs. My, my question is how many, cuantos, how many pairs? Oh, yes. Five pairs, ten pairs, twenty pairs? Six pairs. Eight. Six pairs, yes, six pairs. Oh, okay. Well, at yes. eight is, is normal. Do you have a favorite shoe store? Mm, shoe store? Tienda de zapatos? Do you have a favorite? Okay. Nike. Na, en, ¿Se dice Nike o Nike? Nick, Nike. <laughs> Nike, te iba a decir ya. Nike. <laughs> ah, okay. okay. Nike. Hey, what's your favorite color? Tennis. Uh, my favorite color in tennis is black, mm -hmm. black and red. Black, black and, and red. red. Okay. The last yeah. question: How much? Cuánto cuesta? How much is a pair of sneakers? How much? One hundred dollar. Uh huh. One, one hundred, five, no, one hundred fifty, one hundred fifty. Oh, wow, it's expensive. One hundred, eh, one hundred fifty, one hundred seventy five. Oh, okay. Yes. Okay. Thank you so much, Robert. Be ready for the second round. Okay, señores. Jamie, I'm going to start with you and then please be ready, Fabiola. Okay, Jamie, to conclude, please, what's your second question to your teacher? Um, how often do you travel? Well, before the pandemic, I used to do it, well, I used to travel many. But, well, this came very often, before the pandemic. But after that, as you know, it was impossible to travel out of my country. But if you ask to me, I like to visit different places in El Salvador. So I always try to go to somewhere every Saturday because Saturday is my day off. So I like to go everywhere. Sometimes I like to go to the beach or sometimes I like to go to the downtown. But talking about out my country, I haven't been traveling for almost three years. Yes. What about you, Jamie? 
Um, I have eight years in this country and I just went one time to El Salvador. But I, I travel too much to New York mm -hmm. because my husband have um, family, has? has family there. Hey, which city or which place in United States would you like to recommend to me to visit and why? To New York or where I, I live? And where you live, yes. Um, maybe. Mm. Vamos a ocupar en lo que piensas en tu respuesta. Vamos a ocupar un modal, ¿verdad? Se los voy a mandar ahí. Should. El should se utiliza cuando yo digo, yo te recomiendo. Por ejemplo, hey, te recomiendo que vayas al dentista. You should go to the dentist. Pero como estamos hablando de recomendar un lugar, hey, teacher, I should. You visit. Hey, usted debería de visitar. You o, en este caso, teacher, you should visit, bla, bla, bla. Usted debería de visitar. So, please. Uh, you should visit Baltimore. Mm -hmm. Because there, uh, they have an um, aquarium. Hey, I like but it. But I, I don't recommend live there because it's dangerous. Really? Yes. <laughs> just to just to go for vacation. Just like to aquarium. Oh, okay. Excellent. Thank you so much. Okay, por el tiempo voy cortando. Thank you, Jamie. Okay, Fabi, please be ready, Jennifer. What's your question? Okay, teacher. Um, do you listen to podcasts? If you do, what is your favorite and why? I don't have anyone. Can you believe it? I don't know <laughs> why. Yes, but, but but do you listen to podcasts? Yes, but many time ago. But right now, I don't like it. It I don't know, but it doesn't catch my attention. <laughs> really? Yes, it doesn't catch my attention. So I'm paying attention of something, but talking about podcasts i don't know why do you recommend mm, yes in my case i, I listen to podcasts mm -hmm. uh, honestly it is it is the new challenge i have for this year mm -hmm. so in the mornings i get out listening to podcasts to start my day um, about what what kind of podcasts I like to listen, well, now, sorry, <laughs> now uh -huh. I like to listen to my podcast about leadership, personal mm -hmm. motivation, mm -hmm. okay. about love with a psychologist, mm -hmm. and, you know, and music in your body. I prefer other... the audios book. Yeah? Yeah, I prefer the audios book, but podcast, I don't know. It doesn't catch my attention. Hey, that's a good question. <laughs> Hey, Jamie said, what, what is a podcast? Can you please explain to her? Okay. Podcast is too similar radio, but it's, it's too similar, yes, yeah, too similar radio, but it's about a specific topic. And you can choose with it. With special, so? And sure. you, can, you can choose the topic, right? Yeah, you can, to, you can choose the topic in different famous, or different people, mm -hmm. but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. Famous is normal people. If you can to do podcasts in the other people, you can to listen to you. Wow, that is nice. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Hey, that's a good question. But in my case, it doesn't catch my attention. But I will try. Yes, I will try. <laughs> Excellent. Thank you so much, Fabi. Okay. <laughs> Jennifer and then Karen. Hoy, hoy les voy a robar unos cinco minutos, chicos. Okay, Jennifer, okay. what's your second question? Be ready, Karen. What's your favorite family tradition or Salvadorian tradition? Well, family tradition, we got many. For example, it's very normal. I live with my parents and my little brother, Javier. And we used to like to go to our favorite Chinese restaurant. 
it's located in front of the i what's the name of that church but it's next to multiplaza this is a normal tradition but we like to do it one or two times in a month another tradition that in this case we have as a family is to celebrate our birthdays with friends but we like to celebrate in order to our favorite topic for example thematic for example in my case i love dogs so my family they know that they always buy to me a dog's cake um, uh, my dad he loves his city he's from Agua Japan, and we like to visit his mom at a specific time and to spend time with with my grandma but we like to share it as a family yes we like to share as a family salvadorian tradition yeah i like to celebrate holy week i like to celebrate christmas i like to celebrate dependence day yeah the normal tradition but to be eh, or in this case any specific or special you know i don't have what about you um maybe the family tradition to celebrate our birthday because eh, we we buy a cake and we celebrate. Sometimes we make a karaoke and we pass the time together. And it's nice. We, we every, uh, every birthday in the family, we celebrate. <laughs> Excellent. It's a really yes. good tradition. I like to spend and, time with my family. Yes, it's nice. And maybe Salvadorian tradition. Um, uh, I don't, um, after the, no, before the pandemic. Before, uh -huh. the pandemic. Uh, the pandemic, I loved the posadas mm -hmm. because in my uh, neighborhood, uh, we make a big posadas and we go on to uh, all the houses in, in the neighborhood. This is and for Christmas, right? Yes. Okay. Before Christmas. And the people give us uh, food, food and Oops, your microphone. Oh, excellent. Okay. Oh, <laughs> okay, yes. You can hear me? Yes, now, now, yes, perfect. Oh, okay. And, I, and that's it. Okay, thank you so much, Jennifer. Nice. Thank you so much. Okay, let's continue. Karencita, please, los que ya participaron en la segunda ronda, si gustan, no hay problema, pueden irse a descansar ya, ¿ok? Y los que no han participado en la segunda ronda, please, you have to stay. Ok, Karencita, what's your second question? Ok, what did you do yesterday? Yesterday, yesterday, Sunday. Sunday, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> My goodness. In the morning, I went to the church. Well, I got up at 6.30. I went to the park just for 30 minutes with my dog. Then I came back home and prepared my breakfast. And I went to church at, let's see, 9.30 a.m. And then I came back at 12 noon. And then all the afternoon, I decide to pass the time and spend time with my family at El Boquerón because there is a new restaurant called Ikatu. I recommend, it's really good, but the coffee is good. The coffee is good. Okay. So yes, let's say yes, that's all. Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> what about you? What do you do yesterday? Okay, in the morning I get I got up at got around up. Mm -hmm. around eight a.m. and I was preparing to go to the church. 
uh, with my family. Around we we were leaving around 10 a.m. because uh, in the church start around 10:30. Uh, we were returning to home with around 1:30 p.m. and we cooked uh, the lunch. We cook. Yeah. We cooked the lunch in the afternoon. Uh, my sister with my nephew, uh, they visit us and I played with my nephew. And I take a nap uh, for a little time. Mm -hmm. And then I iron my clothes and prepare to sleep. And I go to bed. I went to bed around uh, 10 p.m. Okay, that's all? Okay. That's all, teacher. Thank you so much, Karencita. Good okay. night. Thank you. See you. Good night, teacher. Okay. You. Next, Rene, please. And then I'm going to finish with Robert. What's your second question? Your microphone is on, but I cannot hear you. Mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, teacher. Yes. yes, perfect. Este. What? Okay. Uh, doctor, why, why are you laughing? Se, le, uh, eh, se me murió el video de la laptop. Ah, okay. <laughs> bueno. Es, Ready? Okay, teacher. Ah, ya está. <laughs> the, my question is. What is your favorite day on year? On the, on the year or at the week? No, on the year. Mm, my birthday. <laughs> I really like to celebrate my birthday because I always got at least three or four parties. One with <laughs> my friends, one the the second with my best friends the third one with my co-workers and the last one with my family and i'm not talking about the presence i'm talking about the time because i really like to spend time with the people that i love so if you ask to me yes my birthday it's my favorite day what about you um my favorite day is Christmas day uh, because because uh, my family and me we go to visit my family and I see family coming from from United States um, we ate turkeys mm -hmm. together and and have a good time. Okay. Excellent. Yes. Thank you. Excellent. Perfect. Y nunca me habían hecho esa pregunta. Thank you, René. <laughs> good night. Okay. See you tomorrow. Bye. Night, night. Okay. Robert, please, what's your second question? I'm going to finish with you. Okay, teacher. Uh, do you like cleaning in general? <laughs> No, I don't like. I I just like. Esa palabra just significa solamente. I just like to clean up my bedroom. But in general, I don't like to clean up the living room, the garage, the kitchen. I hate. I hate it. The refrigerator. I hate it. I don't like to hate. I don't like to clean up the fridge. Just my bedroom. What about you? Yes, I do like to clean. Mm -hmm. When I rest, mm, I rest cleaning my room. Mm -hmm. How often? A ¿Qué little... tan a menudo? How often do you clean up your room? For example, every day. Teacher, como digo, cada lunes, every Monday, cada sábado, every Saturday. 
How often do you clean up your room? Dia diariamente, teacher. Every day. Every day, yes. Every in the day. morning, in the afternoon, at noon, a mediodía. In the uh, no, in the night. At night? In the at night, yes. Really? At night. Yes. Wow. Cuando vengo de mi trabajo. When I when I return from my job or when I come back from my job. Yes, when I, I come, come back. From my job. My job. My, yes. Okay. That's all. That's all. Okay. Te voy a dejar una tarea personal. Necesito okay. que te aprendas 10 palabras diarias. Porque fíjate que vos entendés lo que te pregunto, pero te falta vocabulario. Eso. Porque los verbos los manejas. Pero en este caso, eh, lo que te falta es vocabulario. Entonces te dejo de tarea. Fíjate que yo hacía eso. Yo, lo, yo, me, bueno, yo, me, yo me acuerdo que yo cuando estudiaba inglés, yo me aprendía 30 palabras diarias. O sea, yo iba en la calle y decía, quiero ver cómo se dice esto. Quiero ver cómo se Y si no me lo podía, lo buscaba. Entonces yo iba en la calle y yo misma me decía, quiero ver si sé cómo se dice esto. Quiero ver si sé cómo se dice esto. Lo, o, por ejemplo, puedes comenzar con cosas de la casa, vean. Para que, este, porque los verbos los manejas, pero en este caso para que empeces como a estructurar para respuestas, te dejo de tarea que te aprendas 10 palabras diarias, ¿ok? No te, okay. Las voy a, no te las voy a preguntar en casa, no te preocupes, hijo, sino que ahí es, es ya conciencia, ¿ok? <ríe> no, sí, de hecho, bueno, a mi compañero, el de trabajo, no sé si le conté una vez, Ajá. pero ya no era como que estaba practicando con él. La verdad es que sí me descuidé un poquito. Sí, pero, yo... Pero, ajá. Para. No, hombre, pero todas esas semanas de evaluación, todas esas semanas de evaluación, entonces ahí es donde ya ustedes van a comenzar ya también, ya en nivel 3, ya necesito que ustedes estén un poquito más afilados con la conversación, porque en realidad este tipo de conversaciones yo las hago a partir del nivel 4, pero ya te fijaste, ¿verdad? en vista de que puedo en este caso presionar un poquito, pues es por eso que he ido un poquito más, más rápido en el aspecto de la conversación, pero Aprendete 10 palabras de vocabulario. Cualquier cosa que vos te quieras aprender que no se pasa. Para que ya comiences ahí a estructurar, vea. Ok. Thank you, Robert. Nos vemos mañana, hijo. Good night. Buenas noches.